I wanted, I wanted to just jump into it and speak about some of the fallout from the Drake album because I think it's been pretty insane how much drama this album has caused for people. People are really going overboard and crying and whatever it may be. And um, some of the reactions have been strange. I've seen some people out there essentially saying that Drake is having some sort of mental breakdown. I've seen some people basically saying criticism is dead. I've seen some people trying to suck up. I've seen some people trying to align with Joe Budden. It's been really strange. In my humble opinion, I don't think it's that big of a deal. You know, it really isn't that big of a deal personally. But I wanted to check in with DJ Academics and see what he's saying because he has the ear of Drake. He was able to get on the phone with him and have a discussion about everything that transpired. And um, he has some interesting insights that I want to comment on. I want to tell you some fall fallout that's happened thus far. I talked to Drake. Yes, yes, yes. No, there's some people, I won't even call them fans. I would just call them people who want to be entertained. That they watch these streams and they, like, you know, they have a selection bias in the sense that they want to see whatever is the most entertaining, right? W, self-awareness and understanding from Ak. He can be very emotional, right? He can sometimes um, go a little bit too crazy. But I think one of the reasons why he's quite entertaining and quite fun to watch sometimes is that he is quite self-aware. He knows kind of his position. He knows where he stands. And he also understands why people, you know, maybe have a good time laughing and dunking on him online. So uh, whatever that fits their narrative, they're going to go with. For example, act salty over a call. You know what I mean? I, I think people like you, you would know if I was salty over a call or something like that. Um, but those people are always going to exist, right? But there, there's a people who actually kind of get like at least what's going on. And um, I guess I explain it for you guys. But anyway, I I'll give it an update. So we, we talked about the album last time. And I remember I told you Drake hit me up during stream, right? So, you know, I didn't hit him back. I kind of just, oh, shit, everything's live. So I told you, I was like, yo, hit Drake hit me up. I didn't really tell you everything he said, but like not everything was too nice. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. But he was like, yo, damn, bro, like you salty? And, and, and I was just like, where did he get that from? Now, um, we actually, you know, or we, we, we tr you know, we sent messages back and forth afterwards. And here's the hilarious part about it, which I figured. So Drake hits me back, right? Because I, I, I responded after I got off stream. And he hits me back and he says, yo, dog, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't even watch the stream. Yachty hit me up and told me, yo, why act going crazy on you? <laughs> like I'm like, oh, that's looking wild on Little Yatty if true. If Little Yatty is out here watching academic streams, then running back and telling Drake he's taking the piss out of you, he's saying mean things about you and that kind of vibe, that's making Little Yatty look kind of lame. I didn't know how much people disliked Little Yatty until this album dropped. I really had no idea. I guess there's a population, there's a segment of hip hop fans online who go out of their way not to listen to Yai, I think so. But if they have to, they skip over his verse. Because I think some people were saying the same thing about um, the single he put out recently with the crazy um, good um, J. Cole verse on it. People are saying, oh, they took the tune, they cut out his verse and just had the Cole verse on loop. They just, you know, they don't want to hear him. So those people that go out of their way not to hear Yai were probably annoyed that he was he was involved so heavily with the Drake album because it was like he was being forced down their throat again. Um, and then some people have also got a problem with him hanging around with Drake because they don't want him influencing Drake's music because they don't like his music. And I guess there were also some people out there who probably wish they could be him and be best friends with Drake. But I didn't know how much people disliked Yachty's music and his rapping. Really didn't. Until this Drake album dropped. I was like, rah, boy, he's got a lot of people out there that really don't like him. <laughs> and um, I think a lot of people who have kind of seen how he's, you know, been pally pally with drake and he's on the plane he's got the ovo tattoo you know people kind of maybe look at that and think he's being a bit corny a bit lame a bit extra but clearly the feeling's mutual because drake shouts him out and calls him his best friend and stuff so they clearly have a close relationship but ak is also a bit of in a weird position here because he made some mad rant about how yeah he's not really a big drake fan he's just a yes man he wasn't honest with him about the album and about his verses and shit so it must be an interesting dynamic going on here and in a way 
Drake is sort of playing them both off each other in a weird way. It feels like, you know what I mean? Ak wants the approval of Drake. It's, yeah, it's, what's, what seems to be happening is two things. Ak's being extra critical and actually he's speaking about music for once, which is fucking entertaining to watch. He's not just talking about fucking first week sales, but when to be honest, even though he, Drake's his goat, but then in his eyes, he feels like you're, he's kind of like sucking up to Drake. So they're both playing opposite kind of roles. One's playing the suck up role. One's playing the I'm going to be over a critical role in an effort to try to be Drake's friend. It's really odd. That's what it kind of feels like at the crux of it. Both guys are competing for Drake's friendship. Very, very odd. Very cringe behavior. But I think that's what's going on. What? <laughs> yo, Yanni. <laughs> Real talk. That's what he said. He said, yo, act when I hit you with that message, I ain't even, I wasn't even watching. He was like, yo, uh, you know, I think he, he was performing, right? Remember he did two nights. He was like, yo, I had the best nights of my life. You know, he, he really had fun just like closing out that tour and celebrating his album release in Toronto. And um, he was just like, yo, bro, I was just having, like, I was on like an all-time high. Like I had the best night of my life. And he was like, "Yeah, I didn't watch it." So he's like, "Yo, I'm just, I, I'm, I, I'm, and not that Yadi told him some crazy, but Yadi was just like, yo, I, yo, 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 Drake, why this nigga, why this nigga, why this nigga, uh, 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 going up crazy on you like that?" So he didn't really see or un yo, big up my G's in the chat. Well, 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 Guan Teju, big up Frigzy, Perk, Caseload Moses, I see you. Uh, big up Uche, Wagwan, my G, big up Crash, Sarlux, Andre J. Big up, big up, big up, big up. Understand or even know any contextual um, premise around anything I said. So I think that's where me and him started. That's where his message came from. And I, I, I'm i hoping he probably saw shit afterwards because for him to admit that, that's probably him saying, yo, bro, what I said initially was me blindly. Like, you know, my man's told me he was wilding. So I'm like, yo, bro, whatever. And, um, you know, he also clarified on the Joe Budden thing. And we're going to talk about a few of those things. Again, I'm not going to make this all... Come on, get to the point, bro. I don't care. We're the ones who made it popular and made it now that it's normal to call him a GOAT. He is the GOAT. But that doesn't mean that should give him an ego that says nobody could tell me shit. That's a very dangerous place to be. That's just being honest. Everybody deserves critique. Me too. Like, even if you watch me every day, like, you might be like, yo, act, yo, I like when you used to do this better. Or, Damn, shit, them streams back then. Uh, that's not the right thing, though, is it? Because Ak was banning people in his chat and in his Reddit when they were giving him critique about the girl thing he was going through. Because I've seen it with Ak, he started to do a little bit of that as well. He started to get a little bit touchy, a little bit twitchy, and people come back and say things to him. Even the thing with the live show, he was very kind of, you know, squeaky bum time when it came to his live show about the tickets and shit he was not really receptive to people you know dunking on him or cussing him out even though he's the one that's been on his stream cussing out others for getting low ticket sales so i don't know there is something about making it in content that just warps your brain and makes you unaware and just a little bit of a c-u-n-t i don't know why that is but i guess that's the case it was hit more it is what it is and even if i disagree i should be able to listen to what you're saying or read it or whatever and even if i just disregard it you know what i mean i shouldn't take it that personal right agreed um so that was mainly my message right and and secondly my message was dog we hold you to a higher standard you're you're getting judged on a really unrealistic standard and you know i don't even think that there's any apology needed for why you're being judged this you know um meticulously because it's a reason why we called you to go Am I the only person that is un is just doesn't get why people are reacting so strongly to this album? It was made on tour, and it's still I think better than um, Certified Lover Boy and what's the other Drake album that came out before that? I'm surprised why it's divided so much opinion. People are acting like it's the worst thing they've ever heard from him. Drake has got worse projects than this, in my opinion. I think it's right up there. I think it's better than Certified Lover Boy, and I also think it's better than what. What's the last album that came out? It's probably on the same level of like Dark Lane, Dark Lane demo tapes, More Life, Honestly, Never Mind. It's in that same sort of realm. I don't understand why it's getting this type of reaction. It sounds pretty good. It's one of the better ones. Like, like I said in, in my review, I honestly think this Drake album, looking at the track list now, I think the first 13 tracks or 15 are bangers, in my personal opinion. The first 15 which is just over 60 percent and then you could take a couple of tracks from the second half and include them that make it 70 to 80 percent that's a pretty good number 
I'm surprised it's getting this much reaction. Like, what did you expect the album was going to sound like? Like, he, he made it on tour. He delayed the release by a few couple of weeks also to kind of add more time onto it. Um, you know, it's 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 really polished, I feel like. Compare, compare this to the last album that he did on tour that didn't get a good reception. Um, what was that one? The one with the fucking future with the diamonds on it. That's the last one I remember he did on tour, right? Yeah, what was it called? Uh, what Time to Be Alive. Do you remember when that dropped, how people were upset about What Time to Be Alive with Future? And that was made on tour. That, I think that was during the, the they made that on tour when they were on tour together, right? Drake and Future. And I thought that was terrible, personally. But I think um, for, the, for All The Dogs is definitely up there in terms of his discography. Obviously, it's not the best album he's ever dropped, but it's definitely much better than people are making out to be. People are going on like it's the worst, worst, worst thing. It's like, come on, bro. You know, I mean, you have a different standard than everybody else. Uh, he did speak a little bit ab about uh, Joe. And he, he explained to me. and, I, and Okay, well, Case of Moses says, it's not about the album. It's problem is Drake is trying to be young. To enter the core Drake fan, he's calling his old. Oh, yeah, no, true. I think they're going to talk about this now. The whole young thing, I think, is lame. The old insult about, oh, you're acting too young. It's like, bro, it's like, um, it's like Taylor Swift. How old is actually how old is Taylor Swift? By the way, let me just check this out. Taylor Swift age. I've never known this. Taylor Swift age. Oh my god, she's okay. Cool. I had no idea she was thirty three. Does Taylor Swift act thirty three? If you saw her, would you think she's thirty three? She's a pop star. You have to kind of, you know, act a certain way to kind of sell those type of records. She kind of has to appear like she's in her mid-20s or late 20s to sell the records that she's selling. You kind of have to be a bit whimsical. So I think with Drake, he's doing the same thing. In order to be at the top of his class, he has to have kept himself tapped in with all the youngsters and shit, you know? So that's what he's basically doing. And he does a really good job at it, I think. I think he does a good job of kind of marrying the, the, the two, being very tapped into the youth, I don't think he panders to the youth. He don't, he don't, he's not out here trying to look younger than what he is. He looks like a grown man. But sonically and musically wise, he can, you know, he can match with the best of the kids up there. Like, you know, he's definitely still um, able to compete with those kids that are coming up at the moment. So I don't understand the whole too old thing. It's a bit strange, really. Like you're aging out Drake when he's what? 30s? What is he? What, how old is actually Drake anyway? Is he late, late, late 30s, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, f come on. You're you're trying to say Drake is like Jay Z because he's thirty six. Like you guys need to relax, man. The fans are going crazy, man. Honestly, I really don't understand what's happening out here.